Hi everybody, this is Connie. I just thought, you know, today was kind of a stressful day. Let's get this moved over a little more. Um, today was kind of a stressful day for me, and without going into anything, um, it's just kind of a yucky day for me. So I thought, um, I washed my face, I moisturized, I thought I'd do a get ready with me. So um, hopefully you can see me okay. I don't want to get you in too far because um, I am using my mirror over here. I have to use a mirror, otherwise I can't see. So that's what you see in the corner there. And I'm going to start with primer. And what I'm going to use is my L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. I love this stuff. Just give it a little shake. I always do. Pump it out onto the back of my hand. stuff okay that is done so let's I'm going to use my Lumi cushion foundation today I haven't used it um, only when I was doing my comparison so I want to try it again today um, and I will let you know um, in the comments below how it wore during the day. So, I'm going to open it up. And there it is. And my color is, I believe it's like N1. It's light ivory. Light ivory. I can't remember. Oh, W2 is my color. And I've dampened a beauty sponge. It's not a real techniques or anything, but um, just a beauty sponge. And that's what I'm going to use today. So here we go. And excuse me if you can hear me breathing because I am still fighting this dang pneumonia. And it's really hard for me to, to um, I have a hard time catching my breath. So I'm going to go in with um, a second coat. That's the thing with this stuff. Um, I really do like it a lot. But you need to get um, that more medium coverage. You need to um, go in with a second coat because it is kind of sheer. Ooh, almost dropped it. little red up there I um have an itch I don't know what's going on there I need to color my hair so bad it's really starting to to show the gray but that's not in my budget <laughs> can't afford to do that I need a haircut too but I just I don't know what I want to do if I want to continue growing my hair out or if I want to just cave and cut it again because 
it's right at that stage where it lays so crappy. Um, that's why I pulled it back today because it was just laying so goofy. Okay. Impressions are that I like this stuff. It doesn't um, go into my fine lines in my excuse me in my nose. Sorry. I'm trying to get a little closer here so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so let's go in with, um, let's do my brows next. And I thought I would use the um, Gimme Brow by Benefit today. I've just got a little tiny sample size. a little bit. All right. I'm hoping you can see me here. And I am really sloppy with this stuff. Um, That's why I always do this before I do my eye, eye makeup. Not too bad. All right. This side, if you've been watching me for a while, is a little tougher to do because I went through a windshield and I've got a lot of scarring up in here. And it went right through my eyebrow. So I'm kind of missing eyebrow over here, right where my spoolie is right now. All right, let's see how that looks. <sighs> That'll do. Put that away. Eyes, I'm going to go in with um, my Ulta Eye Primer. Still trying to use this up because a little dab will do ya. I've been trying different things with my eye makeup too just to get it to pop a little bit more um, just the way I'm doing it I always I always have done the whole lid then I go in for this eyelid part here and then I um, do the crease and I have started to do it all over like I always do but then I'm doing the crease first we're gonna see how that works and I am using um, my CoverGirl Golds, Goldens. I told you one of my friends gave this to me um, not too awful long ago. Okay, let's see here. What do I want to use for eye? Let's just use my... Um, 
I can't see what this is. It's just a plain old brush. All right, so I'm going to go in with a plain color, kind of a yellowish, to do the whole eye, just to kind of lay down a foundation there. Kind of do a... Uh, Highlight, highlighted area there. And I have never been, I mean, up until, you know, I started my channel, I hadn't worn makeup for years, except for lipstick. And if I did, I had one eyeshadow shadow um, trio. I had a mascara. I had just a couple of lipsticks and I had a blush. That's what I wore for years. And uh, when I was younger I didn't have much makeup either. So you know it's just become an obsession of mine the last couple of years and now I have more than I'll ever use. I have um, boxes of makeup that I've decluttered or um, whatever that I don't know what to do with. So I know I've got to do something with it. I just don't know what yet. I want to go in my corners here. Also with this light color. I'll clean my brush. All right, let's see here. You know, and I might be doing this wrong because I don't know how dark these colors are, actually. I have not used them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this, I think. And I'm going to go... I don't go all the way to the corner. And I will clean this up. It doesn't look right now, but in this eye, I've always had a little bit less of a eyelid on this side because same car accident. You can kind of I, I covered that up with makeup now, but I've got almost like a little nipple on my eye <laughs> from them sewing it up. We'll see here what this looks like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this, I do believe. I'll show you when I'm done what colors I used. Let's just see if I can blend that a little bit. This was a clean brush, by the way. I do want to clean up around my eye. I don't like it out quite so far. Put a little bit more gold in there. I 
this is way darker than I usually wear my eyes. It's going to have to do. Okay, I'm going to go in with a just a little itty bitty brush here. And these are, I have no idea what who they're by, but I am going to go with um, that same lid color. Just go. Okay, then I'm just going to go with um, this Physician's Formula, and I'm going to do my waterline with that. I don't know if this is the right color or not. I need to get that one by, I think it's L'Oreal that's so pretty. That kind of is kind of a really light cream color that kind of opens up your eyes. I think this is more like skin. Yeah, it didn't do much. So maybe I'll go in with my Kat Von D pencil and just do a little bit here. I like to do my upper water line too, but I'm not going to do that today. <sighs> okay, so what I did, I'll show you here. This here is in my crease and my lower lash line. This one here is on my lid. And this one here is all over my eye. That is such a beautiful palette. And so it's a little bit powdery, but it really has got really good... Um, um, what do you call it? It's opaque and it, it's, it's, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use my, the Super Sizer um, mascara. I don't, I'm not a lash girl, so I do not use false lashes. So what you see is what you get for eyelashes for me. My eyelashes are pretty sparse. Used to have beautiful eyelashes when I was younger. This here is pretty new, and it's really wet. Um, I don't know that I like such a wet formula. I'm hoping that it will dry out just a little bit. Um, not a ton, but... in for one more coat. Yeah. It's a little bit 
wetter than I like. And this is, I think, this is the non-waterproof. Okay. All right. So there is that. My eyes are done. I probably just made a mistake by shutting my eyes. I guess it doesn't look too bad. But I can feel, really feel that wetness on my eyes, um, and I'm not crazy about that. So, okay, so let's go in with concealer. And I'm going to use my um, Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. I just finally finished my other one, so I'm going to go in. This is brand new. I mean, I've had it a while, but it was my backup. And you can tell I haven't used it because it's still taped shut. Dang it. There we go. Come on. It always takes a while for this stuff to come up. Okay, I'm going to use my damp blender. You know, I still think this is probably one of my favorite of all time concealers that I've ever tried. Even though it's still not perfect, I still like it better than a lot of concealers that I've tried. That was a little much there. piece right there that and I got some on my <laughs> well that looks like a kind of crappy there <laughs> but I think I, I do like this um, I think it blends like a dream blush let's I'm gonna go in with my Laura Geller that's what it looks like there and like this I, I just realized I didn't get a highlighter um, oh, we're gonna wear, use my Mary Luminizer today I think okay so going in with my favorite brush of all time even I like these much better than the um, the metal, the new metals. These here. This is the powder brush, but I would probably use this as a blush brush. And I'm using this as. Ooh, I I keep forgetting that that is broken. I don't want to roll over it. Where to go? keep forgetting that, that this is broken and it keeps popping out. 
Just have to be careful with it is all. Okay, highlighter. Mary Luminizer. I love this stuff. That's what it looks like. I'm going to use this brush. Okay, and that is it except for lipstick, and I am going to use my Bite Beauty in Aubergine. I have old lips, remember that, guys. <laughs> and I've got a scar coming right down here. You can see that. And it um, made my... my lips not go together quite correctly right there. I'm a mess. I'm put together with tape. All right, let's go back a little bit. Okay guys, that is my makeup look for today. Excuse the hair. Um, it does not look good today at all, but it hardly ever does. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed doing it for you. And let me know what you think. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.